Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit, and we're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. But today we are continuing in the tradition of keeping a novena, a nine-day prayer intention, between the Feast of the Ascension, which was last Thursday, and this Sunday coming up. These nine days in between, we are following the example of the apostles and the disciples who prayed for the gift of the Holy Spirit, and so are we, using the novena written by the Holy Ghost Fathers in 1912. This is our intention for Monday. The gift of fortitude. By the gift of fortitude, the soul is strengthened against natural fear and supported to the end in the performance of duty. Fortitude imparts to the will an impulse and energy which move it to undertake without hesitancy the most arduous tasks, to face dangers, to trample underfoot human respect, and to endure without complaint the slow martyrdom of even lifelong tribulation. He that shall persevere unto the end, he shall be saved. Let us pray. Come, O blessed spirit of fortitude. Uphold my soul in the time of trouble and adversity. Sustain my efforts after holiness. Strengthen my weakness. Give me courage against the assaults of my enemies, that I may never be overcome and separated from thee, my God and greatest good. Amen. And now we will pray our act of consecration to the Holy Ghost. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body to you, eternal spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light, listen to your voice, and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness, holding the pierced feet of Jesus, looking at his five wounds, trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper in my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Ghost, Father, Spirit of the Father and of the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, speak, Lord, for your servant heareth. Amen. And now our prayer for the sevenfold gifts of the Holy Ghost. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven, didst promise to send the Holy Ghost to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal, the spirit of understanding, to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth, the spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God, and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen.